Basically, we know that recurrent ovarian clear cell carcinomas uh, are an area of unmet need. These patients uh, don't have a lot of options after chemotherapy, and they're relatively chemotherapy chemo resistant uh, with response rates of less than 10%. And when we look at studies that have looked at immunotherapy in all epithelial ovarian cancers, and that includes clear cell, but clear cell is only a very minor part of those um, ovarian cancers since they're relatively rare. Um, the overall response rates for immunotherapy is about 15%. But among those studies, the clear cell carcinomas in particular seem to have a very durable response um, to immunotherapy. And there have been several studies that have been phase two studies, and you can see that those small population of clear cell carcinomas seem to have a more dramatic and durable response. So based on that, we thought, well, 15% or response rate in all epithelial ovarian cancers is, is still somewhat modest. So instead of having single agent monotherapy um, with immunotherapy, can we combine or find a combination that can improve that response rate? So IDO1 is an enzyme uh, that catalyzes an amino acid tryptophan to kynurenine, and that increase in kynurenine inhibits the um, anti-tumor cell-mediated immune response. So if you block IDO1, then potentially you can increase that immune response of the cell. IDO1 tends to be uh, in ovarian cancer in about 50 to 60% of cases. So we thought the combination of pembrolizumab and the IDO1 inhibitor, which was found to be quite responsive in other tumor types and phase one and two studies, that potentially it could increase that response rate for clear cell cancers of the ovary.